There's a new compound bow that just came out in Way of the Hunter, and there's actually two different classes. One is from class two through six, which has a lot of power and honestly might be even a little bit OP for some of the mid-sized game animals, like the Kudu or even the Wildemise. But the question I have is there's another bow that's class two through five. Is that gonna be a little bit better for mid-sized game? Well, we're gonna be taking it out today to find out. All right, we got a nice herd of wildebeest out here, and we're going to see Jackpot. There he is, right there. He's stepping out, 70 yards. The wind is pushing kind of back in our face. A little bit to the left. But there's our bully stepping out right there. So right there we're looking at... Ah, that's 60 yards. That's a young male there. I believe that's going to be... No, that's not him either. Two-star adult there. That's a good adult. A real good adult. There's our bull. There's our bull right there. He's stepping out. He's stepping out. See, with the old bull, with the two to six, we could easily go right through both shoulders there. He's up, but he's facing directly at us here and that's not a shot there's a chance oh that's a shot that's a shot oh, 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 oh. what's he doing what's he doing i thought he was following that one but could be wrong where'd he go there he is there he is 50 yards 50 yards all right Should have been absolutely smoked if he was really 50 yards he may have been closer than 50 yards yeah that is definitely a vital hit and this time we use the two by five power bow so we're really curious to see if it's gonna run a little bit further or not because usually when we use the uh, two by six power they pretty much drop right on the spot and I want to see just how far this thing's going to go. We know it's going to take it down. So let's track it. Got some really good blood here. But for now, let's go over here and take a look at our big bull. All right, there he is there. You can see the arrow didn't go in near as far as what the 2x6 would have. So let's pick it up and see how it did. Ended up actually getting a double lung shot. The shot was 47 yards, so we hit pretty much spot on. Absolutely drilled that rib there and still made a clear pass through. Wow. So even though we are using the Sky Pharaon Wonder, which is the two to five, it's still a clear pass through on this massive bull wildebeest. Massive. I mean, take a look at this. It's going to be a 60% on the genes, so uh, somewhat decent genes, but it was a two-star mature, which is kind of odd because usually those ones don't have the greatest genes. But anyways, he weighed 614 pounds, and that was a clear pass through. All right, we got a nice herd of wildebeest out here, roughly 100 yards, and there's a big two-star mature right out there. We really want to get him. What's important, though, is that we watch the wind because that's going to have a major effect on our shot placement. Uh, there he is. All right. So he's 85 yards right there. And we're trying to figure out how to cut off this herd or at least slow him down or something. Okay, that's him right there. What? did we just do we just dropped him at 100 yards we just dropped a huge wildebeest at 100 yards with the bow we held pretty high and quite a bit far back left to compensate for the wind and we must have held just right because he's laying right here man that was awesome he's big too 
Ooh, look at the exit of the broadhead right there. Right through the center of the shoulder. Quartering away. This is actually one that we tried to hit from before. Took him... At 160 yards with a 300 mag? And a lung hit did not take it down. Very fascinating. But this shot was incredible. Double lung and artery at 92 yards. Look at that penetration. All the way through and hit the opposite rib and kept going right through that rib. Look at that, right through that rib. Incredible. Almost 100 yard shot. Mm, decent one to take down, 55% in the jeans. Oh my god, look what we just found out here, guys. We got a nice male lion bedded out there all by himself. What a perfect setup to spot and stalk him with a compound bow. Unfortunately, at this point, I would really rather have the 2x6 powered bow. Because the 2x5 is going to be a little bit risky. But we have a perfect wind, and he's bedded out there 460 yards. The best part is he's solo, so we don't have anything that's going to bust us except for him. So the last couple of times I checked on this line, it looks like he's headed over a little bit more to the northeast. So instead of going directly towards him north, we're going to shift a little bit more northeast and see if we can't cut this thing off. Because it seems like he's bedding and then he gets up, takes four or five steps, then beds again, does the same thing over and over. But he's definitely headed this direction. Ooh, I wonder why he's headed this direction. Probably because there's a lioness out there. He may be going after that lioness. Ooh, there he is right there. 350 yards. But again, he's headed this direction. Oh, big bull kudu, big bull kudu. It's only a two-star adult? Oh, it looked way bigger than that. So in this case here, we absolutely do not want to take down that kudu as much as I would love to. Oh my god, oh my freaking god. A four-star mature male lion and look what's with it an albino well yeah that uh, is happening right now I want to let this lion get a little bit bigger and become potentially a five star but we got to find out what this is here first Look at, he's slowly working his way this direction. Hopefully it's a good one to take down. Can't quite tell just yet. We may want to go prone. All right, guys, our lion is less than 150 yards away. He's actually bedded right in that grass, right there. So he's probably gonna bed down one more time right there. And the next time he gets out, he should be within 100 yards away from us. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's turning. He's turning. Why is he going this way now? Oh, he better back down. We'll slide over a little bit. And we'll go back down. Wait for him to get up. Oh, now he turned around the other direction. That means we gotta get closer. He turned around at the last second. Oh no. I mean, he's still within a hundred yards, but. It's right there. 95 yards out. What are we zeroed for here? Should be 77, right? You better back down. Oh my god, there he is. I 
the next time he gets up, we're going to let one fly. Because we're going to be 80 yards out, and that's in range. That's it. Right there. As soon as he gets up, we're letting one fly. Did we heart shoot him or what? <laughs> uh, we just dropped the line at 80 yards with the 2x5 power bow. So I don't even know how that's possible. But yeah, he's, he's down. <laughs> oh, what the heck did we just do? What in the actual heck did we just do? Got a decent one-star mature wildebeest out here, too. I won't mind him. Um, our giant five-star lion is just right over there, though. We don't want to spook him. Oh, dude, they're actually working the way. Wait a second. Are they? Or are they in the exact same spot as they were before? Looks like they slowly move this way a little tiny bit, but not much. And I bet that's our five-star right there. Or four star but could be five star soon real soon in fact we're honestly not even going to leave this map until he gets a little bit bigger one star adult yeah that one star mature is tiny compared to that one star adult so let's go over here and grab our lion so let's go over here and grab our first ever lion taken down with a bow I'm still speechless at the fact that we dropped him. And what an incredible picture that's gonna make right there. Man, is that cool. All right, we'll go with that. Let's pick him up and find out how in the heck we dropped this thing. Just a straight up perfect double lung shot at 80 yards, drop this line. Well, I'll tell you what, that makes me a whole heck of a lot more confident in taking down that giant potential five star with the bow as well. We may even use this one because that had plenty enough power to take him down. And it's super, super accurate. Hit right on the money, right on the money. So he was angled just like this. We hit right there. Right there. And you can see the vitals are all the way up here and they go pretty low. You can actually hit here and still get heart. That's where the heart is right there. We're gonna actually try to get a heart shot on this next line. We're gonna try and put one right there. But how cool is that? Our first ever lion taken down with the compound bow and we dropped him. Wow. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh, and one more thing. Guess what? We're going to be going back after this thing very soon.